Alright guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Today we're going to be going over uh, gas torqueometry. Uh, in gas torqueometry you'll be using the ideal gas law once again because it deals with moles. So, you know, just look over these uh, little three little dots here and uh, read them and just pause the video if you need to. But with me, I always say the easiest way to work these is just writing down the balance equation and labeling everything that you possibly can and that'll help a lot. So let's go ahead and look at our problem tonight. Okay, here's the problem that we're going to be uh, working today. Uh, here it reads that you have a 1.25 gram sample of uh, calcium carbonate. Now what I would recommend first doing, uh, let me pull up the webcam so you can see this, I would write down the uh, balanced equation first. Um, that's what I'm recommending you to do. So uh, I would do that. I would write down um, CaCO3, and that's our solid, is being decomposed, being broke down into CO2 gas and uh, calcium oxide, CaO, which is our solid. And they tell us that they're going to give us uh, 1.25 grams of calcium carbonate and they tell us they want us to find the number of milliliters okay so that's the number of milliliters of CO2 okay so I put that underneath there and it says will be evolved if it will be measured at so they give me a pressure now remember this is a volume here they give me a pressure, and they the pressure that they give me is uh, 0 0.974 atms, which is good. And they give me a temperature, and once again, the temperature is messed up. They give me a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Now, you know I'm going to have to add 273 to that, and that means that my real temperature value that I'm going to use will be in Kelvin's. Uh, I know it's supposed to be 5.15, but sig fig rules. Anyway, this is going to be 298. 298 watt Kelvin, so we're not going to use this. Only use Kelvins. Now, I need milliliters. Well, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a dimensional analysis to get to moles of this, okay, using this information, okay. So that's my first step. Then I'm going to try to use the ideal gas law. So let me bring up the uh, webcam so you can see the whole screen now. Okay. Is that, that's pretty centered. Okay. So I've got, um, well, did they give me a molar mass? I hope they did. That way I don't have to calculate. Yep, they did. They gave me a molar mass for uh, uh, calcium carbonate, and it was 100.05 grams. Okay. All right, good. Now, let's go ahead and start setting up our... Uh, dimension analysis or stoichiometry. Uh, we have 1.25 grams <coughs> of CaCO3. Put that over 1. Now the molar mass of this will be down here 100.05 grams of CaCO3 and that's in one mole. Now let's look at the uh, balanced equation. Uh, notice you notice that it is balanced all the way through so we don't have to worry about that we've got one mole of CA CO3 there and we've got one mole of CO2 there so and that's what we need we need moles of CO2 here I know it says milliliters but we'll get to that in just a second okay so let's go ahead and uh, punch this in a calculator uh, I'm gonna keep three sig figs so we pull up the calculator um, I have 1.25 times 1 times 1 divided by 1 divided by 1 and finally divided by 100.05 and that gives me the following number. Now remember I only have three sig figs that, I, that I'll use so the three sig figs I'll use will be 0, 0 .0 here they come 1, 2 and that 4 rounds up to a 5 Five. Now remember, this is moles of CO2. Okay, so this is the moles, and this would be my end value. Okay, so now I can use the the Pervnert equation. Okay, uh, the ideal gas law, which is 
PV equals N uh, RT. I know the pressure. I'm looking for the volume. I now know the number of moles. I know the gas constant. I know the temperature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this for V. Okay. So my V will be equal to basically NRT being divided by my pressure. Okay. Now, I need another sheet of paper. I'm getting that right now. I know it's kind of long. Anyway, I want to make substitute I'm going to substitute into these. Now, this would be volume equals. Now, my end value is right here. It is 0 0.0125 moles. My R value is 0 0.0821. I'm running out of room, so don't get mad. I'm going to leave the units off. The temperature, uh, notice is we calculated it earlier, is 298. It's going to go in here, 298. Okay, Kelvin over my pressure, which my pressure, if you see here, it, I, it was given earlier in the problem, the 0.974 atms. I'll put that down here. Uh, zero point nine seven four atms. Let me move the calculator out of your way so you can see it better. Okay, that's what you should see so far. Now I want to enter that in on the calculator. So the calculator that I just moved out of your way, I need back. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's clear this. That will be 0 0.0125 times 0 0.0821 times 298 is that divided by 0 0.0. 974 and that gives me that number. So my volume is equal to 0 0.31398614. Now remember that's liters. The problem wanted me to find it in milliliters. Okay, you, you guys see that? Okay, I got to convert this into milliliters. So basically, I need to uh, swing the decimal, you know, three times. So one, two, three. So one, two, three. If you don't like that, then you can do dimensional analysis. But sig figs, I need three sig figs. So my volume here is going to be 300, and that rounds uh, to uh, 314 milliliters. If you don't believe me, uh, you can divide that by a thousand, and you'll get this number up here. Okay. All right, guys. I hope the video was helpful. Uh, it, you know, if you need to, you you can just set this up and do dimensional analysis like this. Put this over one and set in one uh, in one liter. There's a thousand milliliters. Okay, that's how you can get that. But remember, you need three sig figs. So 314 is our answer. All right, guys. Just uh, somehow <laughs> look at all this at once and uh, just take it slow. And there you go. All right, I hope it was helpful. Just watch it again and again. All right, guys, time for the credits. Like I said, I hope it was helpful. Good luck.